Hi guys! Welcome back to Sea of Stars, and welcome to the Glacial Peak. As you can see, the gang is currently underneath a frozen lake, which is really cool. We rested up, and now we're ready to proceed forward. Of course, we're here because the Great Alchemist led us here, and oh! We've got company. However you did it, you are foolish for showing up here. Foolish and cornered, too. Your friends already tried acting tough. Didn't you get their report? My, they truly are feisty. Feisty and arrogant, too. Come, then. So we defeated one and three earlier, and now two and four are here to join the party. No worries. We'll take them down just like their brethren. So as I was mentioning, we're here on the Glacial Peak because we mate met the Great Alchemist, who's actually been the narrator of our story throughout the game so far. We finally got to meet him, and he's essentially a god, and he said he can't solve our problems for us, but he may be able to help if we could pass this test. The test being uh, climbing to the top of this Glacial Peak. I don't know what we're going to find up here, but I guess we'll find out. First, we gotta take care of these guys first. To dome. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ouch. Oh, this is some good retro boss music here. I am just jamming along to this tune in the background. Ouch, I had a bit of a delay to it. I didn't time it in time. Cancel that move. And then hit him with the moonering. Nice. Down goes two. Only four left. Man, he only will attack Zale. That was some very targeted attacking. Rude, if you ask me. Or Zale is down. We should be able to finish the job in his absence. Yeah, he literally just picks one person at a time, which I mean is actually smart strategy. But it's annoying for me, being on the opposite end of it. Alright, down they go. We got 4,400 experience points. Ah, you two got lucky. Next time we will win. <sighs> win and celebrate, too. What sort of creatures are they? They have three eyes. They definitely don't seem human. And don't come back! <laughs> you tell him, Garl. We're close. I can feel it. Let's do this. Alright, well, before we do it, we're gonna backtrack real quick. And rest at the campfire, which I know is right back here. Ooh. 
We can also save our game so we don't have to fight two and four again. And continue on our glacial hike. Whoa! Really showing off our uh, parkour and platforming skills here. Lots of shimmying, lots of jumping. Now we can melt this ice. Hmm. I think the platform is broken because I stand on it and I can't actually move that light beam down here. So I guess we'll head this way instead. Ah, what is this? Is this what we were looking for? Girl, where are you going? I guess this is just for the Solstice Warriors. Huh. Got the Solstice Amulet. So much energy. It's the same kind of power as... How do we get out of here? This block could be melted, but the celestial rune is busted. You can now control the time of day with right trigger and left trigger without needing to stand on a celestial rune. Oh, so that's how we control all the beams that we couldn't before. Whoa, so you could just do this at will now? The amulet's resonance with our magic is really strong. We got what we needed. Let's go back to Roshan. Perfect. Okay, so this is going to unlock lots of new possibilities for us. How do we move these blocks, though? Oh, cool. We can also destroy those with the power of the moon. So moonlight destroys the big stones. And then sunlight can melt the ice. That's very cool. Alright, so this must be the treasure that the alchemist wanted us to find. So with this, we should be able to make it back down the mountain. still some obstacles in our path. Like, how do I melt this? Well, I guess to get in there, I must have to destroy these bricks. But to destroy the bricks... I guess we'll need to find something else. Okay, we should be able to activate these now. Do that one first because it's longer, then do this one. Perfect. What did that do? Uh, oh, we can move it now. Cool. Okay, this this will help. So many puzzles. I love it. I love how not only do, are we reflecting the beam, obviously, but we're also, like, actually changing the time of day. That's very cool. Garl and Sarai learned the combo skill Item Roulette. Very cool. Alright, so let's move you back this way. Boom. I can move you. 
What is inside that block? Oh, a chest! Very nice. Found a sapphire ore. Alright, is there anything else we can melt or move? Melt this big block, I guess. A rainbow conch. Now that we know how to spend those, we found the vendor in the Mer People village. I'm just gonna call them Mer People, even though that's not their actual name. <laughs> it's even more exciting to get one of those rainbow conches than it uh, than it ever was. All right, so I guess we can get out of here now. Back through the portal. Back to the archives. You have returned. Congratulations. Will you help us get to Misa Island now? You were just there a few moments ago. Is this the way then? We just go back and hike down the mountain? Hiking Glacial Peak on foot. Only an animal would do that. Will you accept one final challenge? If you succeed, I promise I will help. We're in a hurry, you said- I know, I know. Hear me out. The only way to remove the barrier is to wake the giant stone head. I can make the potion for you, but brewing it requires centuries of maceration. Centuries? That's useless. That is why I need you to recover my personal alchemy bottle, the Vial of Time. Within it, I can control time itself. Bring it back to me, and I will prepare what you need in mere seconds. No way. All right, where can we find your vial of time? Aferol hid it somewhere on Watcher Island a long time ago. All I know for certain is that the giant statue from which the island got its name is the key. How can you be sure? Aferol's tricks always involve big statues. Okay, guess that's his thing. Eventually, I figured he would have to stop if I never recovered my vial, but here we are in need of it. This is ridiculous. Call it what you will, but I recommend you take this task seriously, for it will be very trying. Sure, whatever. We're ready. Then go to the northern part of Watcher Island and perform the cleansing of Torment Peak. Cleansing? There's a dweller there? Of course. It may be just a prank, but A for All played it himself. But without their powers augmented by... Yes? That's what the Solstice Amulet is really for, isn't it? Precisely. It may be old, but its magic has yet to fade. Face the Dweller of Torment with conviction, and the amulet will resonate. The power to conjure an eclipse. Alright, we can do this. Torment Peak afflicts the mind in devilish ways, but you deserve a fighting chance. Here. Go on, drink. What is it? One dose of tethered mind potion for each of you. Come on now, bottoms up. I don't feel any different. And thanks to this potion, you will be able to say the same after spending time in that wicked place. I thought you couldn't help directly. It is but a little nudge. Surely this can stay between us. Thanks, Rashan. We'll be back with the Vial of Time. Feel free to use this portal for, for quick travel between here and Lake Docaria. I will be watching. Good luck. Alright, so we've got our next task. 
Return to the Dakari village. Where did this bring us? Where are we? <laughs> I am lost. Oh, we're in the middle of the big lake and this is the portal that would take us down to the village. Okay, I see. I see, I've got my bearings. So we need to actually go this way to get off the island. Yeah. Back through the jungle path. Luckily for us, since we're going backwards, the current will really help us out. Stop and pick some apples en route. got for us. We should swap in Sarai. So she can use phase shift. Oh, almost. Almost completely broke his ability. Nice! Lear finished him off, so it didn't even matter. Goodbye, birds! Guess we'll save our game. Here we are, back to our ship. So before we uh, head, oh wait, we were already on Watcher Island. Wow, I totally misunderstood. I thought Watcher Island was a different island. Okay, so we actually need to go back there anyway. Well, that's fine. Before we do that, I was going to say I actually want to take a detour back up to Settlers Island because if you guys remember, we actually picked up some blueprints, so if we can get those to the people on Settlers Island, they can begin reconstruction. Or just construction, I guess it's not reconstruction if they hadn't started before. While we're here, there's also a new place we haven't explored called Hiker's Rest. So let's do a little side exploration here before we go fight the Dweller. This is the Skyward Shrine Bridge. It's beautiful music. And the bridge is out. Should have known. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna get any further r right here at the moment. Alright. Back to the ship and now we'll head to Sellers Island. Oh yeah, I could have seen from here that the bridge was out. Okay. That's Mesa Island. Settlers Island should be... Yep, here we go. To Mirth. Hey everybody, we're back. Have you found any new building plans? Sure have, here's in plans. Interesting. Let's get to work.
That worked out nicely. Had you already found a professional to run the place? Uh, no. I guess we'll have to do that next. In the meantime, here are some shop plans. A shop has been unlocked in Mirth. Nice! That worked out nicely. So we have actually already found a professional for this place. Remember, we recruited these guys. Yes, this will do so well. I can already hear the clients coming in. Welcome to the equipment shop. Luckily for us, we do have some things to sell. Now we can get the Dakari armor for Zale. Perfect. Ooh, if we get this, it increases our sailing speed. Don't mind if I do. How do you like it here, kid? This place is perfect, even better than I imagined. Welcome to the item shop. Oh, the kid runs the item shop. It really is a family business. Okay, they sell a music sheet here as well as a recipe for Crustad. Which I would definitely like to get, but we're gonna need to save up our money. We'll be back. Let's check in with everyone else. How's it going? It's really training as a game, but Elder Marine sure takes it seriously. Yeah, yeah, take this! There's still a lot of work left to be done, but we have a good thing going on here. My back is starting to hurt. I should treat myself to some relaxation. I should go check out the crypt north of town. Some people went and said it was really impressive. So this will be the inn, as soon as we can find an innkeeper to run it. After losing almost everything in Brisk, it's great to be starting anew. Did they build Elder Marine's house after? I think, yeah, they were building it right here. Let's check in with him. Hey, how's it going? This is a really nice house. Thank you. I wasn't expecting so much. I mean, we didn't build it, but... Ooh! Can I take your office key? I mean, he didn't say anything, so we'll just sneak out real quickly. <laughs> I guess that means we should actually take a detour back now to our uh, our starting village, which, to be honest, I had always wanted to do. I figured it would be nice to return home. Now we can explore Marine's office at the academy as well, so... Time for another detour. Ready to set sail. And we should equip the relic that we got. Yeah, that increases our sailing speed by 20%. Very nice. All right, so our starting island is called uh, Evermist Island. Right over here. So it's on the exact opposite side of the map. Luckily, we do sail faster now. So we'll get there in no time. Nope, almost. And now remember last time we were here, we actually got a dock that we can dock at, which will save us some time. So if we go this way, and then we go south, we gotta go through the Forbidden Cavern to get back to town. This place holds a lot of memories, of course. This is where our journey very first began, where poor Garl lost his eye. But it shouldn't be as difficult now that we're fully trained Solstice Warriors. In fact, I don't even see any monsters in here, so we might get through unscathed. Easy peasy lemon squeezy! Alright. Here we are, back to Moon Cradle, our hometown village where our adventures began. We actually haven't had a chance to really explore around here because we left immediately after we were finished at the Academy, so it's going to be nice to, to check in with everyone. Please don't look at the mess. What mess? Everything looks completely tidy. I'm gonna play wheels here. Oh, hello there. I'm a traveling fisherman currently looking to settle down. Now that I've seen it all, I would like to run a fishing house somewhere relaxing. The perfect place, you say? Well, I'll be. Onwards to Mirth, then. 
Okay, so I guess now whenever we get the plans for the fishing house, we'll have the employee ready to go. Grant's food is amazing. I bet she taught Garl. Take care of yourselves and don't overdo it, huh? It does not do to push oneself too much. The pirate band is here, of course, as they are in every inn. <laughs> Little farm here. The crops will be good this year. How about I grab some for testing purposes? <laughs> sure you don't mind, right? I sowed this small field all on my own. I'm really proud of it. Great work, kid. I'll take some for testing purposes. <laughs> Found 25 gold. Golden veggies galore in Moon Cradle. Looks like there's something below there. I kind of want to check it out, but I'm too afraid to climb down. Hello. I have work to do in the field, but I can't because of all the thorns. These thorns? Can we get rid of them somehow? Mm, not currently. Unless we get different powers. The thorns will stay. <laughs> Remember, this was the little cavern that we used to hang out in as kids. We never gave back the treasure we found as kids. Good memories. This is so cute. And this is where Garl did his training while we were at the academy. Good old girl. The crops are doing great as always. The stories about the soil having some magic to it must be true. this place? Is this where everyone in town lives? Just in one big communal house? Need to rest? I mean, not right now, but thank you. I'm ready to get some sleep. Get it, girl. Moon Cradle is so peaceful. It is very peaceful and colorful, which I love. It's so pretty. Look at these moon pumpkins. I still can't believe you are Solstice Warriors already. It feels like you just arrived a couple of years ago. Time flies when you're training to be a Solstice Warrior. Now, I feel like... Could I have hopped up there and used that as a bridge to get that other chest? Let's go back. Yeah, perfect. Found music sheet number one. We're doing great on supplies. Glad to hear it. Then you won't mind if I'm taking all these veggies for testing purposes. Ugh, I'm supposed to pile all the leaves onto that pile of twigs for a fire later. I wish the wind took care of piling the leaves for me. Oh, I see what you want here, bud. <laughs> Solstice Warriors to the rescue! Hey, you did it! Thank you so much for your help. Here, you can have this. A rainbow conch! Nice! All our day's work, I suppose. Alright, now let's go up to the academy. I guess Garl's never been up to the Academy, so this will be his first time actually getting to see what's up here. Well, he was up here briefly when he snuck up here a long time ago, but the Headmaster caught him pretty quick. Hey, it's good to see you two. Doing all right out there in the world? You know, keeping on. This was our old dormitory over here. Where we lived and learned how to sew. <laughs> so empty here now. There's nothing here. Music is nice and comforting, though. Alright. 
Here's Marine's office. We now have the key. Let's see what's inside. Uh, it's pretty messy. <laughs> Look at all these books. No chest, though. Found a moonstone bracer. Ooh. Magic attack plus 10 and lunar shield costs minus 2 MP. Oh, wow. That is very good for Valir. Okay. Gonna redistribute our, our equipment here a little bit. Perfect. Oh, that was worth coming to get. What do we have here? Stuff that I can't read. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this was fun. I'm glad we made the trip back to Moon Cradle. Erlina and Brewgraves, they were always so nice to me. I don't know what to make of this. Oh, I guess news has has made it back about their betrayal. All right, folks. Well, we did some nice side questing today and exploration. And we now need to head back to Watcher Island, which is where we were before, and I kind of messed up by backtracking. So what I'll do is, uh, off, off video, I'll make our way all the way back up through Watcher Island, and then we can go take on the Dweller there. So hopefully I will see you guys back here again soon for another episode of Sea of Stars. Thanks everyone for watching, and take care.